Hi, it's upper body strengthening mat class time. So let me take you to a class where we're gonna work to strengthen the abdominal, the back muscle, the upper back muscle especially, and those arms. Okay, we're gonna start sitting down, uh, like so, or whatever you feel comfortable. Reach your arms forward, and then we're gonna do some circle, all right? Just circling the arm. And now let's take the arms up. And then let's take the arms down, because we're gonna do a lot of um, exercises with the arms and the shoulders, so, and the wrists too, so lots of push-ups, hint. And then one more time. And then the other direction, guys. So, may feel a little bit awkward. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit on my left side, but we have to do it. And then take it down. Okay, and now the other direction. Then we're gonna take your hands out to the side. That's it, and then take it forward. You can see how my left arm, my left hand, it's a little bit uncoordinated, I say. Yeah, and then one more time. I'm very right hand dominant person, but you may not be the same like me. And then the other way, and then turning around out to the side and then forward and then again and it's a good warming up for your wrist okay release that all right now let's take your hands back i'm going to bring myself in the diagonal position so you know what's happening and then we're just going to lean on this hand drawing that center we're just do a little bit of a pectoral chest opening here before we start our workout. And then allow the chest to stay open and white. And in breath, exhale, one more. And exhale, coming up. Now, press your hands this way, so fingertips towards your knee, and then reach it forward for a good forearm nerve stretch. And in breath and exhale one more and exhale okay right here let's go on to your quadruped position here all right so align the shoulders and the hands and your knees and your hips here now drawing that center in i want you to rock forward and then back all right challenging that core Challenging the shoulder strength in both directions. Okay, back to the center. Now we're going to go sideways. So sway left and right. And then you notice how your abdominal is having to alter on each obliques to stabilize your body. Okay, and then coming back over to the center, let's do some circular movement. I'm gonna go forward and then to my left and then back. So think about your shoulder creating a drawing, a circle shape around your wrist or your hand. And side, back, forward, side, back. One more. And now the other way, please. I'm gonna go forward to the right and back and left and again. And two more here. Again, drawing that center. Make sure you don't sag down on your spine here. Okay, back to the center. Now, let's tuck the toes under. And drawing the abdominal wall in and let's press the floor away and we stay here and stay here for 10 hovering the knees up nine eight seven six five four three two one and release release the feet let's do some cat stretch so we breathe out to round that back and an inhale, warming up the spine, coming up into an extension of the upper body. And flat back, and run back. Flat 
and arch. Two more, run back and flat and arch. And last one, and then upper back extension and coming back to center. Okay, ready for your first push up of the day? Maybe not today, at least for this class. So now I want you to draw that center in. Now, keeping that length in the spine, I want you to bring that shoulder forward, elbow back, forehead, just tapping the floor, and then push it back. And again, inhale, down, watch my shape here, guys. And exhale, my shoulders are traveling. And exhale. And exhale. exhale. Let's do two more times. And breath. And the last one. And exhale. Well done. Cross. Sit back. Take your feet forward. Back to the middle of the mat. Hands underneath the and let's roll yourself back. Okay, draw going on to the abdominal series here. So bring your feet closer to its bottom. I want you to draw the center in tight. To your back, lift one leg up to the tabletop, and then second leg up. Tight transverse abdominus here. Hold it up top. Now, one leg will go down as you inhale, exhale. We call this a leg changes. Exhale, moving at the hip. Exhale. And the other leg. And. Keeping your waistline nice and stable. And let's do one more each side. And exhale. Now, if you feel okay with that, let's take your arms up here. Continue. Again, a little bit more challenging because you're losing that support balance with the arm. Let's do one more each side. All right, now if you want more challenge, let's take the arms overhead as you take one leg down, taking care that this ribs doesn't pop up. Exhale, other side. Exhale, and. And breath. Two more sets. Rip stays in. Last set. Last one. Good job. Arms come back down to the floor. Knees together here. Let's do double legs toe taps. So lowering both legs down from the hip. Exhale, pulling that center. Inhale. Exhale. Stabilizing the spine. Stabilizing the pelvis. Make sure you do not rock the pelvis back and up, back and down, or up and down, sorry. One more. Okay, if that's okay with you, take the arms up. Let's lower the legs again. Again. One more. Guess what? We're gonna take your arms overhead, same thing. Arms overhead, lengthen your ribs down. Exhale. Ribs stay connected to your belly button. Exhale. Do not arch your back here. Exhale. Two more. Last one. Good job. Lower one foot down, second one down. Interlace the fingers behind your head for the chest lift. Great one to that rectus abdominis, your six pack muscle here. So elbow slightly comes off the floor. Breathe out, allow the ribs to lengthen down and then go ahead and flex the upper chest up. Inhale, exhale, in breath. Let the gaze be forward towards your knees when you come up. Again, and back. And back. Last one. 
and let's take you to the some rotation here. So coming up, over, twist from the waist, and center, and exhale, center. Bless the pelvis. One more each side. Last one. Back to the middle and release. Well done. Now I wanted to lengthen the arm closer to the screen. Stretch it up overhead and the legs. Now I want you to turn your body towards me, towards the screen. Okay. Stretch the arms long, stretch the leg long. We're going to do some side lift here. So breathing out, drawing the obliques in, and we're gonna lift the legs up and down. Two, four more here. Lift and down and 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 one more and lift. Now next one is a side teaser or a twisted teaser. You take the top arm up on the top of the hips here. I want you to draw in that center really tight. Now, just bring the leg up, the top hip slightly backward, and we're gonna lift that chest up, reach the leg, and coming up into that balance. My right bottom is off the floor here, and then down. And again, lift, and then back. And again, lift, and back. One more, and then lift, and back. All right, place the bottom hand, the top hand down. Coming up, you can swing the leg over to the other side or just change the position to the other side. Okay, same thing again. All right, drawing that abdominals in, the obliques nice and tight towards the belly button and then we take the legs up you know, think about reaching out the bottoms leg away lengthening the legs out of from the waist out of from the center more here reach out and ready for our teaser here so we're going to lift the leg up and sorry take the top arm up here and we're going to Top hip back, and we're gonna come up onto that twisted teaser or side teaser, whatever you wanna call this, and back. And again, lift the legs up, balance, and back. And two more, because we did four on the side, and back. One more, we lift, reach. And back. Good job. On to front place. Okay, let's get some back muscle working here. So, arms along by the side here. Okay, I'm gonna hold over my head. Some simple back extensions. So, reach the arm away, lift that back as you inhale. And then draw it down. And again, inhale. And an exhale. And again, inhale. Remember guys, strong arm happens because you have a strong back. And an exhale. One more, lift. And an exhale. Now coming up again here, we do some breast stroke position here. So bend the elbows. So I'm just gonna adjust this up myself. And now we're gonna lengthen the arms forward, open to the side, pull back, and reach the arms, open to the side, and we bend the elbows, reach the arms forward, and pull back, bend the arms, and then reach, and back. Two more, and reach, and back. And reach and back, bend the elbow, take your hands underneath the and down. So the next one is I'm gonna call it diamond pressed or diamond arm lift. 
Okay, so we're going to inhale, we lift the arm and the chest. I'm gonna sneak lateral flexion into my left side, reach my left arm, loop down to my hand, come back, center, and lower. And again, lift, right arm reach, lateral flexion to the right, right hand back, and lower. And again, lift, lateral flexion to the left, reach in the left arm, back, and center. And lift to the right, reach the right arm, back, and center. One more set. And again, inhale, to the left, and back to center. Last one, lift, to the right, back, center, and come back down. Okay, now I want to bring your, I want you to bring your forearm reaching down or place down the floor, the elbows reaching away from the shoulders, tuck the toes under. Now, squeeze the abdominal in, engage this hamstring in one straight line and smooth line. We're going to press the forearm down, lift the body up into a plank. Just going to adjust myself here. Hold that center. And then let's come back down again. Okay. Put the toes under. Squeeze that hamstring. Pull that belt in. And press up. Good job. All right. So it's for a plank. Now what I want to do is I want you to press the right hand. And push up. Coming into the hand. Um, plank. And. Ten. Hold. Now rotate your body towards the screen to me, and coming into a side plank on your forearm here. Right, reaching the top arm up. We stay here. Hold that abdominal for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, coming down. All right, over to the other side. I'm gonna rotate my body to the back wall here. Take the top arm up, stay. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back to the forearm here, hold that center. And then coming up onto your plank position on your hands. Now, draw the pelvis up and get yourself into a downward facing dog on the up, or we call it the up stretch position here. All right, we stay here. Allow the shoulders to anchor down towards your mid back. Allow the sitting bone to lengthen out of the pelvis and the heels to reach down, anchoring to the floor, finding that um, hamstring stretch as well as your calf stretch. And inhale, exhale, one more. And exhale. Right, the next one I call this a pike push up here. So come rise up onto your toes, elbows to the side, head down to the floor, press up. Keeping that line, inhale, exhale. Let's do 10. And, and at these five. Elbows to the side, shoulder blades apart. Six and seven, eight, nine, lucky last, ten. 
Okay, well done on the pike, push-ups. We're gonna stay here in a downward facing dog position. Just take two sets of breath, inhale, and exhale, again, allow that sitting bone and tailbone to lengthen out of the pelvis. One more time. And exhale. Let's walk your hands towards the feet. It's for three, two, one. Dropping the body down. And then we're gonna roll up here, guys. So stacking up the spine, coming up into a nice standing position. So the next one. Let's get our push-ups going. We're gonna roll the spine down, walk your hand three times onto the plank position, elbows tuck in for the first set for the push-up. Let's do, let's do four. And walk your hand back to starting position, walk down again, this time we're gonna have wide arm, right? Into wide push-ups, and then back to center, walk it back. And then the last one is a diamond press. Okay, so let's give it a go, shall we? Roll it down. Walk the arms, so the hand, three, two, one. Hold that center. Now, if this is too much for you, you can bring the knee down, okay? Hold that belly in, right, down. As you inhale, one straight line, exhale. And two, exhale, on three. One more straight line. Good job. So walk your hand back. Three, two, one. Roll the spine up. Second set. Roll down. Walk your hands. Three, two, one. And let's take your hand wider than your mat. Okay, so for the wide arm push up. We inhale, down, exhale. And we got two. Squeeze that hamstring. Squeeze that butt a little bit. Squeeze that abdominal. Oh, I lost count. Let's do one more. And then press up, hand back. And now let's walk it back. Three, two, one. Roll it up. Last one, not my favorite diamond arm push ups. And roll down. Walk it out, three, two, one, into a diamond shape in the hands. Hold that center, we go down. And two, and three, and four. Okay, back, align the shoulders and the arms, and I walk yourself back, three, two, one, roll it up. And now we're gonna roll down again. Walk your hand, three, two, one, to the front support or the plank position. And we'll descend ourselves down, bend the elbows, hold that center, going down in five, four, three, two, one. Release the feet, hands, forearm down, elbows drawn down. Let's do some swan here, guys. So. Breathing out to pick up the belly and then inhale to lengthen the head and the neck out of the shoulder. Coming up into maximum thoracic extension and then press up into a little high swan position here. Descend the elbows, bring your body down. And again, inhale, elongate the head, the neck, upper back and then press up. And coming down. Let's go. Two more. Inhale. And reach. Exhale. And coming back. One more time. Inhale. And press up. And come down. Well done. All right, push the floor away. Sit the pelvis back onto your heels. Arms reaching out in the rest position, in breath, neck nice and easy, exhale and roll yourself up. Okay, so sitting up tall, I'm just moving myself in the center, I'm gonna face diagonally so you can see what I'm doing here. I need to draw that center in, I'm gonna tip that back forward and hold that 
abdominal wall here, okay? My knees are hip width apart here. Right, arms are to the top. Uh, airplane position to the side of my body. Now I'm gonna press my arms up and down. Hold that center and down. And on four, four more. Five, six, seven, last one, eight. And now one arm comes forward, the other one goes down to the hips and airplane and the other way and center let's in breath and in breath palms facing down in breath in breath in breath in breath one more each side in breath last one arms to the hips sitting back onto your heels well done, guys. Okay, last stretch. Let's interlace the fingers. Reach the arms back and just release that chest up as you pull the arms away from your bottom and upward. Stay there in breath and exhale and release. And now from here, let's roll down the spine. Just Allow the head to be heavy. And then just rest that body down on the floor. Again, one set of breath here. Inhale. Ah, good job. And roll it up. Okay. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the class and I hope you can feel this arm muscle tomorrow. If you like the class, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I hope to join, I hope to see you in another video.